Earth Space Dock, a beautiful and gigantic facility in orbit of Earth, has been seen in numerous Star Trek series and movies over the years. But the real question is, does it make sense? Hello and welcome to Does That Make Sense? A short Star Trek themed video that discusses various odd or inconsistent Star Trek topics. Today's premiere discussion is on Earth Space Dock, also known as ESD, where I'll ask you the simple question, does that make sense? So let's begin. Introduced in Star Trek III The Search for Spock, Earth Space Dock is an enormous facility that orbits the human home world. I know when I first saw Earth Space Dock, I was amazed. My young mind saying to me, that's awesome, that's great. But as I grew older, a question began to form into my adult mind. That being, does it make any sense? What is the purpose of Earth Space Dock? From all visual evidence in the movies and various Trek series, it seems that it's just a fancy outpost with no real purpose at all. I originally thought, hey, maybe it's a construction facility, one where top secret starships could be built without prying eyes gazing upon them. But that too doesn't make any sense, as we see the refit Enterprise simply in its own construction scaffold-like dock in orbit of Earth. And certainly we've seen many classes just being constructed out in the open at Utopia Planitia. So if its existence isn't for that purpose, then could it be for defense? Well, this wouldn't be logical either. First, holding ships in a confined area like that to protect them could make sense if a starship is barely operational or heavily damaged. Unable to defend themselves, Space Dock would be able to protect them. But the vessels we see in Space Dock usually can maneuver on their own and most times have no real damage to them at all. Also, the sheer size of Space Dock makes it highly unlikely that it's a very maneuverable facility. I mean, every time a being, a probe, the Borg show up at Earth's doorstep, there is no sign of Earth Space Dock. So, if it's construction as a twofold type starbase, one for protecting defenseless starships and the other for the defense of Earth, then it's a pretty bad defense system as it never seems to be in position to do anything for the planet. We've seen other facilities in orbit of Earth and throughout the Federation that make far more sense. Simply having a starship dock on the outside of the facility, but within the starbase's shield bubble. So when you eliminate these possible functions, there's only one real reason left that I can see. That Earth built this facility simply because they could. It wasn't necessary for shipbuilding or keeping prying eyes away from new starship designs. It wasn't necessary for Earth's defense as smaller dedicated defense systems would probably be more effective and far easier to construct. And to build this gigantic base simply to house starships in the event that said starships aren't functional and Earth has an emergency of some kind is sort of a huge waste of resources. So for me, I think Earth Space Dock represents the height of humanity's hubris, showing everyone in the neighborhood what Earth could accomplish if it merely put its mind to it. But what do you think? Do you like Earth Space Dock? Do you think it was constructed for one of the reasons I've discussed here? Or do you have another reason as to why it was built? Now, I know Beta Cannon and Fandom have attempted to explain its existence as being pieces added to it over time that eventually created the dock as we've seen it. But not only is there no evidence of that whatsoever, but Cannon itself has put that theory to rest, as we've seen the facility under construction in 2257, and it's the exact shape and size of Earth's space dock that we would eventually see in Star Trek 3. So leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to reading what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper.